Biffy is our first actor on stage. Uh, the word must have been known for a long time. Nobody knows how long, because it appeared in print uh, only in the middle of the 20th century. And in general, uh, such words do not appear in print too often. Think, for example, of something like poop. Why would someone want to write poop in a book? Do you expect Dickens to write poop, or Thackeray poop, or Byron? Byron, incidentally, wouldn't have minded. I'm sorry to say that when you open the o great Oxford English Dictionary and look up Biffy, all you find is origin unknown. Uh, so don't expect that I'll tell you something that no one knows, but at least I have a hypothesis. Uh, this hypothesis may be worth something or nothing. Uh, the verb to biff is known, and it means uh, to strike. And it seems that biffy, unless it's a nonsense word, and that's also possible, it can be anything, tiffy, biffy, piffy, siffy, any, any word like that could have been coined, and there is no origin, really, a rootless word. But biffy, if it is from biff, if biff means strike, uh, then it can mean something, or it may mean something. Uh, but one of the words, one of the ungenteel words that I found for the toilet is thunderbox. Uh, and I won't explain why it is called thunderbox. I think you will guess it without my help. If beef means to strike, couldn't beefy be something like a thunderbox? With these words, one never knows where one is. For example, I'm sorry for polluting uh, your airwaves with such terrible words, uh, but the word fart is extremely old. Uh, it is thousands of years old. It is the same uh, in many Indo-European languages. Uh, that is, it may be 3,000 years old, and it does appear in, in our old books. So if Biffy means something like farty, well, that gives us some sort of explanation.